Hi guys, this is Corey with Stellacore Free Auction Template Editor, and today I want to show you Google Fonts. I'm pretty excited about this as generally fonts cause a lot of problems, a lot of limitations to them. So Google Fonts offers a way for us to bring a ton of different fonts into our document to really change the user experience. So to start off, I've talked about fonts before, but I'll run over this real quick again. We'll split the screen. You see us have a little bit of text here to say Google Fonts are awesome. So we'll go in. When you use fonts, I could have a hundred font styles installed on my machine for you know word perfect or whatever other processor I use and I could link to them using font family and it would look great on my machine you know any of them would look fine but the problem is is that when I send my document out in the world on a web page be it eBay or my own website if the user loads that page and they don't also have that font installed it's just gonna default default to a basic font and they're gonna have a completely different viewer experience so to work around that online, generally you want to stick to the basics. You know, Arial, Times Roman, almost all machines come with these. So if I were to pick Times Roman, it's a pretty safe bet that when a person loads my page, that their machine will also have Times Roman and they'll, they'll see what I want them to see. Well, Google offers us another way around this. So we can link to a font style sheet. And what that will basically do is that when they load our page, that they will temporarily load that file sheet for that font and they will see the same font that we want them to see. So Google Fonts has a ton of them. This is Google Fonts right here. They have, I think, 651 right now, and a lot of them are kind of the same. They're all a little different one way or the other, a lot of scripts, stuff like that. So what we did is we picked about 70 of them that we like, and here they are, about 70 of them that we like. And of course, if you come across one that you really like, just send me an email, leave a comment, I'll be happy to add it, it's not a big deal. So we'll use it real quick, show you how to do this. So we'll make it a little bigger so we can see it. So you can see as you click through here, see them all, get a preview of all of them. But let's say we come across one that we really like, like this Black Ops one. The difference with this is that we have to link this font style to our page. So if we hit link this font, you can see that that shows us now that we have this link and you saw that it dropped it into our HTML over here. So it, what just happens now is that when a person loads this document, it'll bring this font style in. So we know that they'll get the correct font. So click OK there it is now this font works just like any other font so I could go back in here go back in here I can change the color of it we'll make it a blue and do a little text shadow make this a red click out of that so it works just like any other font so go back in here we'll do another one Go back to Google Fonts. You'll see our Black Ops 1 is in here and it's being used. It lets us know that something on the document is using this. I can add as many as I want. Add bangers. We'll do audio wide. Add this. I kind of like the free holy one. Add this. You can see that it added all of them. So of course if I decide that I don't want bangers, just click the X and I'll drop it out. Click the audio wide, drop it out, and it leaves us the ones that we want to use. So go back in here. Another thing to show you guys is under font family, as I add them and take them away, it'll also add the link font option. So I can select them this way as well. Make this a little bigger. And there we go. So another option you guys have is you can actually go straight to Google Fonts. So say that you find one that you like that we don't have installed. So it's pretty easy to use. Let's say you like this Oswald here. Go in here, you can actually get that link, the same link. Just copy it take it back to the editor, paste it in, and there it is. Now if I were to go in, this Oswald, we'll make this big again so it's easy to see, go to Google Fonts, it found that Oswald in the page and is allowing us to use it. So, you know, there it is, click on it, go out of it, and we've used the Oswald. So you can also use the one straight off the page or you can pick one that we already have installed, it works the same. So. Please email me or leave a comment if you have any questions about this. I know it's a little bit different, but I'm happy to help in any way I can. So this is Corey with Cellicore Free Auction Template Editor. Thanks for watching.